Hello, welcome to the second episode of Low Systems Livecast. Live. Do we have a name for it yet? LS Live. LS Live. LS Live. 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 All right. Um, so yeah, episode two. Thanks uh, so much for attending, guys. Uh, it's a very special episode today for a couple of reasons. Number one, we're going to have uh, our uh, our special guest from the first episode, Rob Calabrese, will be joining us again. Uh, today to go through some Tinder breakdowns, some profile breakdowns, but two, more importantly, it's actually Chris's birthday today. It is my birthday. He's uh, he's got, he's one year older. Yes. And I know he but does. I don't want to talk about my birthday. Well. I don't want to. What we got for you guys is we've got an awesome Tinder breakdown show. We're going to be breaking down people's Tinder profiles. We're going to be answering the questions like, how do you get more matches? How do you actually get women to respond to you when you're making conversation with them? And how do you get more dates and, uh, out of conversations? And we're not going to talk about my birthday at all. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about your birthday, because I actually got your present, and you need, you need to open it live on camera, because it's really, really special. It's, uh... We're going to have Rob Calabrese, and there's going to be all kinds of great stuff. There you go, Chris. You may not be the best looking person around, and you may not be the smartest person around, and you may not be the coolest person around, it's going to be embarrassing. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Motherfucker, you look at least 40. Derek. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. You're I really welcome. appreciate that. I know. I really appreciate that. Some people think, yeah, he's probably like 42, but he's actually only 40. I'm actually only 36. Right. I'm actually only 36. Um, and then I've got some kind of present here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. we got Rob Calabrese here online. We've got... Uh, We've got a whole bunch of dating profiles to, to, to look over. It's going to be really, really, really good. Um, and let's get Rob Calabrese online. And let's get started with uh, with some dating profiles. This, this present's going to be important for the show, by the way. All right, I got to All right. Get to open it up. What is this? It's got to open that up. Show that Show that to the camera. <laughs> it's your favorite band, I right? got a Nirvana t-shirt. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's Nirvana there, right, on the front? That's the band you like, only, right? only people my age are going to get this joke. If you don't understand this joke, congratulations. I don't understand. You're not old yet. I don't understand why it's a joke. I thought that's the band you like. You should, you should wear Please, that. Derek. You should wear that for the episode. Perfect. Nailed it. All right, so we got a great show today. Um, we're uh, we're gonna get our, our good buddy Rob on the line here as soon as we can. But yeah, today is Tinder breakdown. So in the first episode, we went through some uh, trying to help our buddy Drew out uh, to get a date by the end of the end of the episode. We should follow up with him. I don't know what uh, what those conversations turned into. I'm assuming at least a few of those turned into dates. Those were gold. Yeah, yeah, no, he was he was some of them were going really good by the end. Yeah. So and we had to end it soon, uh, end it short, but. There were messages so long when we turned the cameras off, so we'll have to have a future episode where we uh, follow up with him. But today it's Tinder Breakdown, so we asked you guys uh, to send in some of your Tinder profiles, which we're going to be going over, um, and uh, and hopefully Rob can give us some insights into those as well, find out what's working with the profiles, what's not working, uh, and hopefully give you guys some advice that you guys can use to, to get better at Tinder, yeah. which is the name of the game for tonight. we got a guy coming up, um, and he is a guy who has... Uh, He's gotten, he's gotten tons of advice on his Tinder profile. He's done a lot, a lot of work on it. And he's still having the same problems. And so this guy, uh, we're going to get him on the phone and give him a call. And let's just see how, how he's doing. And uh, we're going to tear down his Tinder profile and see what kind of advice we can give him. So let's just see if he's on his Tinder rate, if he's on his Skype right now. What's this guy's name? His name's Jay. Jay. Yeah, we got Jay here. This guy is very successful. I still finds he's losing out on Tinder. How's it going, man? Huh? Hey, are you at a crime scene? <laughs> hey, what's up, Jay? It's Chris calling hey. from the Love Systems Live call-in show. Hey, Chris, what's going on? I'm just watching you on YouTube. Good hey, stuff, man. Well, make sure you turn off the volume on YouTube in the background so that you're not getting uh, feedback. You're not going to get that feedback. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I'm in a quiet corner, at Starbucks, or a relatively quiet corner. Cool. So, All right. Awesome, man. Okay, so here's yeah, what. How's everything? Everything's going good, man. Everything's going pretty good. Um, all right, I'll, you're you're up now. We're gonna tear down your Tinder profile. All right, let's have a look. Sorry, at this. I sent you like a million emails, but that explains everything where I'm at now. 
I know you gave me you gave me a ton of emails, but that's good. All right, so, so let's sorry. Yeah. tell tell us the story. Tell us your Tinder story. Like, why did you submit your profile to the show? Well, I was actually introduced to it in 2013. One of my friends from med school he was like, "Oh, this friend of his had a lot of success on it. It was in the infant stages back then, so I tried it. I really struggled. I put up one of my doctor pictures that helped, and maybe I got like two, three matches or so. It was rare." Then I went the professional route, as you'll see there, and it, it seemed to work fine. Like It would give me some matches, but then after a while, I noticed I'm not getting the quality that I want. It's hit or miss. Uh, maybe I'll get a few here and there, and you'll see it kind of fizzles out in some of the conversations I send you. Some, again, they kind of flake out on me. Yeah. And overall, I feel like I'm just being overlooked. You know, I have a lot going for me. You know, just finished residency, fresh new surgeon, you know, I'm into salsa dancing, comedy clubs, all that stuff. I feel I'm pretty decent. I haven't violated any rules. Mm -hmm. You know, I, yeah. but I No, you're a successful guy. You got all kinds of stuff going for you. But I'll tell you what, man, women won't tell you the mistakes that you're making, right? That's a big problem. And like Tinder women won't won't tell you the mistakes that you're making. And Tinder not, is one yeah. of these environments where uh, you know, they just they just stop responding to you. You don't know what you did wrong. Um, so yeah. let me just let me just pull up your your messages that you sent to me right here. And I just don't even know how to perceive it. Me, that's kind of where I want to also see what you guys think about that. Yeah, man. No, I think I think there's a there's a lot to be said about this. All right, so let me just. And I'm just a little flabbergasted by that. All right, so I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna show this on the screen here. So this is your this is the pro this is some of the stuff you sent me. These are some of the photos, a whole bunch of screenshots. So you gave me like a really, really detailed breakdown here, um, which is awesome. The top two that works the in this is the one with me buttoning the suit jacket and laying on the bed. All right. Those are the ones that are hit or miss. Yeah, man. Yeah. So let's talk. Let's but let's talk a little bit about these. Ironically. All right. Let's talk a little bit about these, cause. Uh, because I see the mistake that you're making, all right? This is the deal. I see the mistake that you're making. Like, it's almost really good, but I see how you're getting passed over a lot, okay? So, really? your number one profile is this one with the suit. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so let's let's have a look here. Let's zoom into the suit here. All right, the here's what I'm noticing. The, the one on the bed. Those are like the top two. They hit or miss, they'll work, it'll get me. Maybe a so-so girl, but it's it's inconsistent. Like Eli Manning with the Giants, that's how inconsistent it is. Okay. <laughs> so, here's what I'm seeing with the suit. How, mm. Do you wear that suit often? I'm sorry, I can't hear you breaking up. Do, do you wear that suit often? What's that? You wear that suit for work? Uh, I'm usually at scrubs and white coats. Scrubs. Yeah. I wear a blazer when I go out on dates with friends, night on the town. Do I'm a blazer you, kind of guy, usually. Do you know that suit doesn't fit you properly? Yeah, that's one of the things I've been hearing, and I yeah. overlooked that. That's exactly the kind of thing that women know. Women notice. Here's what here's what that photo looks like. Here's what that photo looks like. All right, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in. This photo looks like I borrowed my big brother's jacket. Wearing my dad's suit. And yeah. I'm going out to pick up girls. Really? That's what women get from it. Yeah. And you have no idea. They're not, never going to tell you that. It looks. You probably your friends are going to tell you like, oh yeah, you look good in a suit. A guy should always wear a suit. But if you don't wear a suit that fits you, it doesn't look good. Yeah. And and, and like that's that's basically it, you know. And um and so if you just you, what you need to do is you got to find a suit that 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 fits you right on the shoulders, so that when your where your arm moves right here, okay, is precisely where uh, where that shoulder is on on the suit. It can be padded or it can be uh, unpadded. How tall are you? About five seven. The good news is I have a place I sent you a picture. Yeah. It's been tailored. I have it tailored and I'm doing a new photo shoot this weekend. That's why I kind of want that's one thing I could work on with the new photographer. Uh, here's the other thing. You can tell this is a this is a professional shop. Okay? And Yeah, I'm hearing that it's both yesterday. That comes up a lot too. And and what you wanna do like nothing wrong with having a professional shot, but mm -hmm. what you wanna do is you want to uh, is you want to have um, if, if you're getting a, if you're having a professional shot, um, well, you only want to have one professional shot, and you want to have what you really want to do is you want to dress really nice like that, all right, and you want to go out with your friends, all right, to a bar, have one of your friends bring a nice camera like an SLR, 
and take a shot of you in a normal situation where you where you're dressed really nice and you're around people. Because this looks like this looks like this looks like I went to a photographer to get some some modeling shots for yeah, my Tinder profile. Online. He specializes in online dating. Yeah. Those pictures. Yeah, like the, com, yeah. with those professional photos, there's got to be a reason why they're being taken, right? If you're one of your hobbies is acting and you're doing headshots, okay, fair enough. You're in a band or something, and that's your hobby, and you got a photo of you playing or something that's right. professional. I'm bringing Rob. Right? I'm bringing Rob Calabrese onto the on the call right now. Let's see if he joins us. Rob, are you there? Yeah, I can hear me. Yo. Hey, Rob, how you doing, man? Holy hey, shit! We're man. we're live. I've been trying to call in now for 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, this is this is our our, our Tinder expert, Rob here. Rob okay. Calabrese. He, so he was going to be one of the callers on the show. He's the guy I couldn't reach at the beginning of the show. Um, yes. So Rob, are you watching the live stream? Are you seeing this profile? I am. Yes. I yeah. Am, yes. So we're here. We're so, here. I, and I kind of wanted to just go back, but let's concentrate with uh, who's on the line. We got we got Jay here. Jay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey Rob. Just how are you? All right. How's it going? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> Let me uh, let me just pull yours up real quick. Where are we? So the the one thing you're the surgeon, right? Yes. Okay. So if you want to talk to me, man, you know I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. <laughs> the one thing I've seen, and it's a common kind of thread, is guys are trying to oversell themselves. Mm -hmm. All right. It look you're almost you have too many things going on, right? Okay, so God. sure, you're trying to do it all. You have I mean, one, bio-wise, you should have, and we'll go over the photos in a, in a, in a I second. I sent a lot of stuff, so I'm sorry about my You did, man. I, everything. I didn't even forward you all the stuff, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got an inbox full of stuff. I haven't even, I haven't even seen that happen. All right. Uh, let me uh, pull this up. Okay, so here it is. All right, one, the one on the bed. Uh, uh, it, so, let me back up. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm going to bring up the one on the bed. It's not... It's, it's hit or miss. Right. It's been my strongest with the buttoning up soon. As I show what? The guys. This is the one on the bed. Sorry, I, I can't do a better job of this for uh, those guys who are watching on the live stream, but this is the shot. All right, go on. Okay. So one thing we got to remember is it's not just, it's, it's, it's not just what we're saying or what we're showing. It's also subtext. So if I give you, and I'm going to do this for all of you guys, that, that uh, sent in some stuff is I'm going to kind of tell you the the thin slice or the snapshot judgment, the feel for that. Okay? Yeah. So it's you're almost trying too hard. I've been hearing that. Yeah, you, you are the hard. prize. You're the prize here, right? The, the, I mean, women, you, you've got a lot of shit going on here. So dude, why try over, yeah, exactly. overselling yourself? You follow what I'm saying? Like you're a catch, man. You're 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 a super surgeon, catch, and you just gotta play on that. <laughs> you see what I mean? So you have you have so much kind of going on, and I think Chris was talking about. I mean, it's all there might be too many. I don't mean. So your second shot, I don't know if everyone can see that live. The one with the uh, in the suit. In the suit, yeah, we got we bring that one up there. Yeah. And I did hear Chris, and he did mention like the fit. You can get a little bit of a fit, a better fit on it. Which I did. I have a new blazer. As I told him, it's a Ted Baker. I sent the link. Okay. I'm doing a new for us. Well, it doesn't matter what the brand is, man. It's just got to fit you right. You can go to you can go to Top Shop and you can get a decent blazer that fits you. I mean, Ted Baker is a very good brand, but if it's I off by it. if it's off by half an inch, it's going to look bad. Yellow shirt. Sure. Cool. What is this one with uh, the hot match of the day thing? Oh, that one was this guy, uh, Blake something, I forgot his name, Blake Jameson. He was the guy that did an experiment where they, they did the hot match of the day they were getting. Uh, I remember this. So, yeah, but I stopped that because it Yeah, stopped that. That's, that's outdated. That might have, that worked maybe when no one else saw it and didn't know Everybody it was Everybody that doing that now. Yeah. Right, so, you know, X that. Dude. Um, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, well, I mean, here's the thing. You're a successful guy. You got a lot going for you. You're very ambitious. You're very smart, and you're you're ruining it when you do cheesy shit like this. That's right. what's going on. Women are like, I, oh, I love to date a doctor. Wait, 
He's got hot match of the day written on top of his profile. What kind of freaking yeah, doctor is this? It's too. It, you're trying too much. You're trying yeah. too hard. Here. And this is this is the thing. I, we we at, at Love Sims, we get a lot of doctors. A lot of doctors who have issues with with dating, and it's because the the mindset that made you excel at school and made you excel in your profession is not the same mindset that works in dating. And it's because you know in school you were just like. Oh, I don't know this stuff. I'm bad at this thing. I know. I'm going to try way harder. I'm going to put in extra, extra hours to get good at this thing. And then, uh, and then you, uh, and and then you succeed. But the problem with dating is, it's if you look like you're trying too hard, it looks bad. Yeah, me too. In and out. Everybody's having a hard time. Okay, I'm going to reduce your volumes here, guys, because I'm there's getting some feedback. Um, but it's it's that mindset that helped you with. Uh, in medical school, that's, not, that's that's actually undermining you in the dating market, right? Because yeah. you 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 excelled in school because probably because you all, you showed up at every test feeling like you were way behind. You overstudied, you overprepared, and then you aced the test out of like uh, a long-standing sense of sometimes insecurity or this. There's always there's often a little bit of insecurity in there, and you gotta just let go of that in in the dating world. Right, that's kind of yeah. the secret, and you gotta and you gotta go there, and you gotta be the cocky dude who shows up at the test, uh, like me and Derek did, and we have, <laughs> we don't have medical degrees. Showed up to the test, uh, you know, not it's, having it's studied showing, the night before. It's showing layers, not to cut you off, Chris, but it's showing layers. So you have a really cool lifestyle. Just just being a surgeon is value enough, right? So now, I mean, looking at your profile, it looks like okay, I'm a surgeon. I do stand-up comedy. I don't also want that's to be volunteer. Yeah, really you're polite. trying to do. Too, it's too much, so that's a big flag, right? So if I see that, and if I just put my girl hat on, put my dress back on. <laughs> I just want to know what are women saying because I, obviously they're saying something, but still, say I come off as a nice guy. I was thinking of trying facial hair, so I sent you one with a five o'clock shadow, right? So you could see maybe I look a little. Like uh, boyish, you know, like baby face. Dude, fuck you that. guys. Listen to me. I'm... You're a surgeon, dude. You're a surgeon. Okay. You put up good, the best quality photos. Don't get too like, too like, too many professional shots. Have a nice yeah. professional shot. I think you're you have one where you're uh, wall uh, climbing. You're rock yeah. climbing or something. Mm -hmm. Throw that in there. Climbing. Right. Throw that in there and and let them. See what you'll do is if you tone it down, they'll start kind of chasing you a little bit. If you see someone with cool like four or five photos mm -hmm. and on, on, on your bio, you basically just say, I'm a surgeon. That's it? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, you'll get better results because you're overselling it. So when you oversell, that's it's, it's coming... The sub the subtext of your profile is just try yeah. and it's you're every, trying too much. Okay. Every every Let's, every profile tells a story, dude, and if you try to try to force a story down their throat, you're gonna tell the wrong story. Yes. So yes. you wanna you wanna let them tell their own story for who you are. And all you gotta do is plug in like Rob said. Say you're a surgeon, throw some shots that look sincere, that don't look too you know, too professional, too forced. Because if they get a vibe that you're trying hard to make them like you they don't just not like that. They actually get repulsed by that. So yeah, yeah. So you got to be careful. So so let's 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 give uh, Jay some really quick advice that he can that, that he can go use right now. We're gonna move on to the next uh, to some other profiles. But what would be like the Rob if, if you were just give him like three pieces of advice that he could do right now to improve his profile? What would you say? Okay, tone it down. I would I would tone all those things that you do are are cool. And, and that's going to really put them over the top once you get beyond the match. Okay, one, t tone it down. Two, and what? Two would be a little bit, I, I would say, I would tone down like that, that bed photo I'm not really sold on. Maybe throw that in the back. Which one? The one you're laying on the bed like uh, George Costanza. <laughs> right? So I'd throw a, a, the surgeon photo in there towards the back is cool. Let me just pull yours up for a Yeah, the bed one doesn't jive with being a surgeon. The better one is what? I said the bed one doesn't jive with you being a surgeon. It's yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it breaks the story. All right, you know, if, if I was giving... Cheesy. 
If yeah, I was yeah. giving three pieces yeah. of advice, or Derek, yeah, you want to give three pieces of advice? Like I, said, I know I have potential and I, I'm confident, but you know, I look at guys like you and I look up to guys like you because I feel like most of the women want guys that look like you guys. Dude, but you're a surgeon. Do I have to remind you you're a surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> they want that like bad boy look with their beard. And I don't know. I, I could be wrong. You know, no, 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 listen. Women don't know what they want. Shave your head and go to the gym like five times and you'll look like me. So you're offering a lot of value. That alone, that one, that one, hey, I'm, you know, I'm a surgeon and it looks like you're in like New York City somewhere. Yeah, in New York. New York. Okay, so I would, I would definitely shorten up the bio, um, mess around with the photos a little bit. Uh, rock climbing's cool. Oh. Um, and test, you know, just test your first photo, test which one gets the most. So what you do is, you know, throw that on and then wait, like, a, give it at least a week or a hundred. If after you swipe okay. girls a hundred times, if you're not getting any matches, you need to change that photo. All right. I'm going to give Jay, I'm going to, cool. Jay, I'm going to give you three pieces of advice you can use right now. And then we're going to move on to the next profile. Um, awesome. I have a quick question. Nope, after what, that, but yeah, thanks so much. All right. Um, okay. So the three pieces of advice. One, you, you got to get a photo of you in a social environment, taken uh -huh. with a taken with a nice camera that just makes you where you dress nice. Okay. But none of these none of these uh, modeling shots. Okay. Something real and natural where you hang out with friends to show your real character. Okay. Two, <laughs> two. You're a doctor. All you want to do is just be like. Hey, you know what? I've got a, I've got a. You can even just say, I've got a, an important job in healthcare. Message me if you're curious, uh, and and have a shot of you in the scrubs at the back or something like that to prove it. All right, and then talk about something else completely. All right, you don't need. You just drop a hint, and women will follow up on it. You need to create some mystery, and then three, um, just. Act like you're the prize. Be the prize. You are the. Act like you're the prize. You're not the prize in your profile. You are. You are hungry. You're looking desperate. That's what's turning women off. All right. That's my three pieces of advice. Now you said you had a question. What was that? Cool. Can you hear me? One quick thing. Okay. Regarding the being the prize thing, which I really appreciate, is you guys rock. Because you are the prize, man. You're. You're, the, you're a what, surgeon. Girls love that stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Are the best, but here's the thing: I'm getting some states of coffee meets bagel, but um, they're not really where I'm attracted to. But I'm learning, you know, getting experience, getting my feet wet a little bit. But what I noticed is, you know, I'll talk and banter, but I don't think I really get to the point of like really connecting with them. So you know, a lot of this pickup advice they say go for the kiss, touch them, and I think maybe I'm calibrating wrong. So uh, what do you guys think about kissing me on the first date? I know I'm hearing mixed reviews about it. It's but not. Some girls it's, saw me. They're uncomfortable, you know, me touching them. Kissing on the first date. Girls are uncomfortable kissing on the first date if you're uncomfortable about it, right? And they don't like you, let's say. If a girl's attracted to you and you can kiss her in a way that makes her comfortable, she'll do it. All of them. Uh, even the ones that have rules, you know. Most, the only time you're going to get a situation where they won't do it is maybe if they're under, you know, 25 and don't have a lot of experience and they just don't know. But for the most part, yeah, there's no problem kissing on the first date, but... It's not a logical thing. It's not like, oh, right. it's not something where you got to think like, oh, it's okay to kiss on the first date, therefore I'm going to do it every time and go for it at this amount of time into the date. It's a very sort of emotional, contextually thi contextual thing. So uh, you go for the kiss, and you get better at this, by the way. A lot of guys, I remember I used to be like this. It's really hard to know when. But what you do is you just go for it, and after a while you sort of figure it out. You see the tells and... And sort of you get a you get a vibe a feel for the vibe going when you can actually do it. For now, if you're not there yet, yeah, if you're having a good time and your gut is telling you this is this is a good day, I should go for the kiss. Go for the kiss, um, and and just pay attention to what what happens after that. But they, I don't see them again. You know, sometimes maybe I came on too strong when I touched them. Isn't that you? Maybe I need to pull back a little. I guess. No. I think if well, it depends on what kind of connection he's making. If he's doing well on the date, then he. If you're doing well on the date and doing well in conversation, you can always go for a kiss. If you're not, though, if you're not, you're you're kind of done anyways. Yeah. Like but uh, definitely, you don't have to make a move on the first date. You do have to create some chemistry. You have to show. You have to show some interest, some intent. You yeah. can't just be like, nice guy, I mean, uh, fall in the friend zone. 
The the good thing is because okay, because you are a surgeon, point. you actually get a well, get out of jail free it card. So way of doing it because it depends on so many things, and, and, and like Derek said before, is it, it it depends on the you know if she's emotionally into it. You're looking at it logically, like okay, when should I kiss and, and stuff like that. So you're in. I think I'm, I can already tell that you've almost you're 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 thinking about it too much, and. It's going to depend on the girl's blueprint, it, uh, where you are, how much connection, if she's emotionally th- uh, 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 spiked. Um, I mean, it, it all de- that all depends. That kind of, but oh. I wouldn't worry about that. That kind of. Thing all right. Yeah. Experience. So, all right, guys, we gotta we gotta move on to the next profile. Jay, thank you so much thank for you. calling in, man. So uh, thank you. Just remember, man, long. you're a surgeon, bro. I agree. You sent, you sent me this recording. <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. All right. Uh, Talk to you soon, man. man. Take care. Take care. All right. How do you get more matches on Tinder? Yeah, why don't we get Rob to answer this? He's he's our our Tinder expert. I mean, the the first and foremost is going to be your first photo. I mean, so that's why it's so key to put thought and work into the first photo. And... uh, um, so if you're not getting matches, I always said like if you're swiping out of a hundred girls, you swipe right. If you're not getting at least two matches, you need to change that first. Because everything else, a lot of times, what's going to happen is after a, after it's a match, that's when they start looking into your secondary photos. That's when they start reading your bio. That's when they start making painting a picture themselves of who you are as a person. Okay. So that's why we kind of want to take that and learn what we're saying with, with not just which photos, but what those photos are, are saying. Exactly. It's the story that the photo tells about you. Right. right. Um, awesome. That's, that's some really, really good advice. And you're writing a book on, on this kind of thing, aren't you? you? You've written a book on this kind of thing, haven't you? Yes. Yes. I spent... I spent a lot of time on this new book. <laughs> um, so, 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 tell me, when you decided to write this book about Tinder, um, like, why did you, why did you decide to write a book about Tinder? Why is that important? Well, because I knew Tinder was going to be everything starting to gear towards mobile to mobile, mm-hmm. right? And on a personal level, I just left, I just um, moved out of New Jersey and moved to San Diego. And it's a great, it was a great, um, just a, like a great platform to meet new people, to meet girls and kind of get, you know, as, as saturated as I can in the area. Mm-hmm. Um, I never, ever did online dating. I'm a kind of guy that's like, you know, it's a live show, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. That's... <laughs> so I started seeing, okay, it, I started seeing like the different, uh, patterns and working, you know, we worked with so many people that I knew guys were going to have fucking problems with this thing mm-hmm. <clears throat> because they're going to, what, what guys tend to do, I noticed, is a lot of their profiles look like a girl's profile. They think, oh, well, the girl uh, did this and she said that, so I'm going to do the same thing. Dude, Makes it sense. doesn't work. Okay. You know, you have to, and, and you have to go... You have to become the potential buyer. A lot of guys are on there, on, on Tinder and everything else, and they're they're selling. Well, look at me. I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a surgeon. I can juggle. I I I, I hunt unicorns. I, I do all these things. And it's instead of doing that, it's just kind of if you become the potential prize in that with that mindset, you'll have you'll just have better results. Because this is the thing that most guys don't realize. Because I, you know, we talk to tons of guys super frustrated with Tinder. They 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 feel like uh, women have all this choice, and that it, it and that it's sort of ruining them, it's spoiling them, and that no guy can compete or whatever. But then you ask women, and they will tell you the same thing that they that they also don't like. Uh, they're also frustrated with online dating because they have trouble meeting guys and creating connections with guys, and they also spend huge amounts of time on this app. And they don't, and uh, like, I know a lot of women. They don't meet anybody on this these things. They spend a huge amount of time and they don't meet anybody. They talk to guys all the time, but they don't meet anybody, right? Yeah, yeah. And and, I'm and sure. I, I, I so think, screw them. Go to the next one. Well, well but but they don't meet anybody because the right. guys don't know how to say the right things. 
to get them to meet up. Right? Absolutely. Because so everybody's on this because they're just a, addicted. There is kind of a, a roadmap. There is a, a system that kind of goes to it. There's, there, there are patterns. Yeah. But, um, you know, the, the one thing to this, Tinder is basically, it needs to be supplemental to the rest of the things you're doing. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. I look at it as almost like, all right, when I'm in the mood for like Burger King date. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So it's going. So it's definitely one of the hats to put on. Mm-hmm. But to get, there are a lot of tire kickers with, and, and especially for women. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I'm telling you the truth. If I see, if I match and, and I see that the, the the girl is kind of overselling and telling me all these things, I'm going, well, what the hell is she trying to oversell, man? Yeah. It's you like know, a, it's like a hot girl who's like test driving his car. Exactly. Well, it's like a hot girl who's. Like, Who's showing off her? Exactly. Who's a hot girl who's showing off her tits on the profile? It's like you're already a hot girl. Why do you have to like shove your boobs in the camera? Like I know you look good with your clothes on, right? Um, Right. And you realize it's like (laughs) alarm bells. Well, they do it because it works, though. (laughs) Right. Well, because they. uh, But I look for the ones that have like seven kids in their in their photos, so I know she's not going anywhere this Friday. (laughs) Perfect. How about I just come over to your place and uh, I'll Looks bring like a sub. I don't have any plans this weekend. I'll be over. All right. Um, Rob, here's another question a lot of guys have. Um, that we, a lot of guys asked us is how do you, um, how do you get women to respond to you? Because you make these matches and you, you message a girl and see how they doesn't, like, she doesn't respond or she responds with like, ha and like the conversation goes nowhere. So how do you get that conversation started? Well, the, the, the first thing you, you need is just a response. And, yeah. uh, and a lot of things, it, can't, it cannot be boring. Yeah. And it cannot, be, it cannot require a lot of thought on her part. That's a good thing. That, okay. That's a good observation. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to do something that maybe it, it could be left field. It could be, and it's not, I'm not going to compliments yet. Oh, and, and so boring would be like, hey, Samantha, how are you? How's your weekend? Happy Monday. <laughs> Dude, you're fucked. I know. Right. My, my female friends get like, that's the message. That's the 80% of the messages they get. Yeah. What's up? Right. What's up? How's it going? Yeah. How's your weekend? Yeah. yeah. All that's that shit. what they get. So hey, you look, look, you look uh, interesting. I'm Bob. Right. Especially if you're messaging kind of, what I've noticed is like, uh, if you're messaging during like uh, what we call business hours. Mm-hmm. Right, so like nine to five, if you're like, oh, oh, I'm so glad we matched, Samantha. What are your hopes and dreams? Like, it's like, I, I, I've had that on the other end, like a couple girls like asking me these huge questions and I was just like, uh, unmatch, <laughs> like do it, well, how are we there already, <laughs> right? So a lot of guys, they either, they either wait, and then once it, once you get a response, then you build from there. Yeah. Un- if you gotta create that list. Yeah, kind of build banter from there. But the first one is just to get her to respond. Yeah, and it's about creating an intrigue, is it not? Yeah, it's it's to intrigue or through uh, humor. Uh, it's it's just really it's just to say because what we're doing is we also need to build compliance. We need her to get into the habit of answering us back. Yeah. And not making her feel bad when she does that, or not making giving her like doing the opposite where you she's responding back and you're just giving her right. being annoying. It's kind of like a lot of guys take that ball and they'll immediately throw it back in her court. Where instead, what you should be doing is taking that ball and sort of spinning it on your finger and doing tricks with it. And you're like, I'm totally comfortable with this ball. Get her to comment on that. I think the analogy kind of breaks down at this that's, point, but that's that's a that's a great analogy. Yeah, but the idea here is to not simply throw that ball away because you don't know what to do with it. And all those little small things you're doing with it show her a little bit about your personality. So not only you're handling that aspect of holding the conversation, you're giving her lots of fodder to comment on. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And, and we're going to, in a little bit, we're going to talk about, I want to ask you uh, another question. I want to ask you about um, the, uh, how you, how do you move from that conversation to a date? Because that's another stumbling point. So like I guess, you know, they don't get the matches, then the matches don't turn into conversations, and then the conversations, I think, go on and on and on forever, and then they don't turn into the date. I'm going to ask you, I want, I want to get you to answer that question in just a little bit, but, um, but first, let's, let's go on to our next profile, and, um, 
and we got a guy Rob here. All right, we got another guy Rob. And, and by the way, guys, Rob Calabrese, his book, uh, the the his book matches is actually on pre-sale right now yeah. at www.thetinderbook.com, so you can go check that out. We were playing dumb a little bit earlier. We asked him if he had a book coming out. <laughs> we, we knew all along. This guy's been, it was this sitting guy's, right in front of us here. So you can actually sign up for pre-sales right now. But we're going to go. I want to I, I want to take this profile. So we got this guy right here. Can you see this, Rob? Uh, this is this is uh, the 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 one you caught, the I Rob see, in, our, there, uh, in our file. I see I'm holding up my, my book. It's a beautiful oh, yeah, book. It's an excellent book called Matches, and it's got so much more information than mere Derek have. Uh, well, I still don't focus. We'll and this is the re- anyway. this book is the reason why Rob's advice is so much better than our advice that we're giving. Um, I also Rob. wrote a book, but it's very dated now, so I'm gonna. But so we got this guy, we got this Rob here. This is his this is his main profile picture. So what what, what do you feel about that, Rob? <laughs> okay, let me just pull it up here. I'm still. Uh... My Commodore 64 is acting up. No. <laughs> uh, so this one is the the guy named Rob. It looks like he took it in his office washroom or something. This is so. Here's what I see here. Yes. First of all, uh, he's got a forearm tattoo or upper arm tattoo. Yeah. Which okay. you see at the bottom left here. It's interesting. He's got a good look on his face, though. That's uh, a little bit what we call That's the uh, the shitting grin a little bit. Uh, a little hint like right that. there. Yeah, not a bad look. Looks like he's in good shape too. He's got a red curl. I don't like curl. the background. Yeah, I don't like the background either. It's like a, you're in a rest stop. It's a yeah, it's a yeah. rest stop bathroom selfie. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like he's driving across the country. He goes into a bathroom and he's like, hey, you know what? I need a new Tinder profile pic. Yeah. <laughs> right. just takes it but when you read his profile though, it kind of goes with it a little bit. So it's I don't think it's as okay, bad wait. as it seems. What, what is this? What, I went ahead and read his profile. So it says six one. I like that he leads with his height. That's, <laughs> Is that's that a good, good idea? I actually think if you're six one, yeah, man. What, like, how tall do you have to be? Well, can, can Derek lead one, with five five? Fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> I think Rob's the same height if as me. Six, so six foot one. That's that's a great question because that always comes up. Yeah. And we get that because that's definitely a selling quality with this guy, right? Girls always, you know, it always comes up. It's like they 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 they, they, they through Tinder messaging they'll at, at one point they'll say, so how tall are you? And then in my head I'm going, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I got so far, shit! <laughs> so, I never get asked that question. And guys but. put that because that's what girls do. Yeah. Right? That's one of those things. Like, every, like, there's, the majority of girls are like, oh, I'm 5'2", or I'm 5'5", five five and I like to wear heels. Right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I say, oh, well, I'm 5'5", five five too, and I like to cut heels. <laughs> <laughs> No, so um, yeah, it's it's fine. I mean, I, I I prefer doing things through like a different approach. I mean, you could put six foot one in there. You could, you know, if you're tall, if you're over six foot, you can put it in there. But a, a good way to do it is like tall enough for you to wear whatever heels you want here. Yeah. Wear. So That's you can good. throw that in there that way. I kind of do it indirectly instead of directly, if that makes sense. Well, yeah. what do you do if you're not tall? You just, we all agree the tall guys should just, just don't you just don't die. put it in. Yeah. I tell them like when they ask me, I go, look, I'm I'm if they ask me they'll say, you know, how tall are you? I'll say I'm I'm just about five nine, which is a giant in my family. Yeah. No no <laughs> yeah, but, or I'm tall enough that you can wear heels. Five I'm nine tall enough that it doesn't matter. Five nine is I think the cutoff for a lot of girls. A lot of them will say five ten, but five nine is about yeah. the cutoff. So I always put in my profile too five nine. I'm really like five seven on a good day, but I'm tall enough that <laughs> you can see it a little bit. I yeah, mean, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, one yeah. Time I, I measured over five eight. I, I yeah. when I meet women at bars, I often uh, jokingly tell tell them that I'm six foot three because I'm yeah. I'm, yeah, also, I'm the same height as Derek. I'm like five nine on a good day, and I'm like I'm like you know being six foot three, a lot of women just like dating me for my height. And I was like, you're not six foot three, are you? Right. Yeah. But it's important to. to I got to I'm six foot three on the inside. When you're in a bar in person. Yeah. Because yeah. if, you, if they it's the confidence, it, man. It'd be, it'd be a disaster. Listen, it's it's it's. I mean, it's the confidence. You can absolutely overcome these obstacles uh, if you've got confidence. If you've got the oh, right dude, kind of yeah. attitude. I mean, I'm, I didn't even I'm big know enough. That, that was an issue until I started working with love systems. I used to look at guys at six three, six four, and be like, "Oh, look at this poor fuck." Yeah, right, yeah. So. no, like, I'm, I was the same way. Like these these guys talk about how how much shit they have to go through being five seven, and I'm like, man, 
I'm five seven. I I never get short stuff. Like I do sometimes. Yeah. Girls would be like, "You're kind of short," and I'll just be like, "What else do you like about me?" <laughs> like I don't have the attitude of a short person. Yes. And the trick is that it's it's they don't not they don't not like short guys. I'm sure there's a cutoff point. Like if you're like five two, like I'm sorry, like. It's probably not going to work for certain chicks. Unless you're dating women who are also 5'2". Yeah, there you go. That's um, the right. But if you're like a reasonably amount of short, like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, six, five, seven, you can get away with, with that just with some swagger, you know? And oh, totally. They just don't it's like guys that have that mindset of a short guy. Yeah, yeah. And, and like whenever I've, um, whenever you're hitting on women who are way taller than you, yeah. they always got to, you know, they'll be like, oh, you're too short. And, and it's like, oh, you just don't think I can handle you. And that's, and that's that's what it basically comes down to. And I mean, and then they smile and they're like, oh, "Let's talk to this guy because you've overcome the real problem." Yeah. Right. Which right. is the concept, the idea that short men are not masculine or confident yeah. enough. They're not asking you. They're not saying you're too short. They're saying, "Are you insecure about it?" Exactly. And it's how you answer that question. Which is something they'll do with any weakness that they perceive when yeah. you're dating them, whatever it is. All right. So we got more photos for this guy, Rob. Okay. Okay, we got this him, him and the boys. Yeah, him and the boys. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of a women, fake smile. Yeah. Uh, Rob, did women judge you by your friends? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So, I, now, who blurred these out? Did he? We, we blurred them out. We blurred them out. We're, we're, okay. uh, taking care of everybody's privacy. Too much gotcha. contrast on that photo. Okay, so we got this one here. How about this? How about this? It's, looks like a Sears catalog. I'm not, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a this is obviously a model like a you know a professionally taken shot. Now, this because I, I I was getting on Jay earlier for the for the uh, the length of his um, uh, for the for the modeling shots, and I think you can have like one headshot maybe. If, I don't know. If you're gonna do headshots, like is, here's the thing: yeah. this thing is still not interesting. This is a boring photo. Yeah, that's that's right. I mean, yeah. it's bland. Yeah, you have a it's face. of opportunities, okay, through your other photos. But really, you have that snap. You got that kind of that split second for her to make a decision. So, are, right? are more photos better than worse photos? You say you have limited opportunities, right? Well, yeah, because you have a, a split second of her attention span. So she makes a quick, and there's three decisions she has. Right? It's either swipe left, swipe right, or look more into it, like undecided. Mm -hmm. Right, so now if you just put that that headshot, what the hell does it say? Okay, maybe he's a realtor, maybe he's this, maybe he's that. It's really going beyond the photo. <clears throat> like most of us, especially at first, we just want to find what photos we look best in, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to find. I mean, that's obviously. Photo that you think you look best in. You also have to portray uh, like a cool lifestyle, like a, a you know a, a you have to show them you have other things going on yeah yeah so even though that his first one i like it's it's a great it's a great shot i'm not a fan of too many selfies especially mm -hmm. mirror selfies for guys um but if he was if the background was cooler like the other one's a selfie basically with him and his friends so that's good yeah. this guy if if i had to get like the tone of his profile maybe maybe a tad too um, sarcastic verging on like you know more of a negative vibe and it's, and so he just but it's not a bad profile you know what's, I mean, Rob, you know what's, you know what's funny hold on you know what's funny that first picture I liked his profile judging based on what that that picture showed but now that I've seen the other pictures it didn't those other pictures didn't do a good job of selling that sarcasm that he's got yeah. in that profile so now he just comes across kind of jaded and sad yeah, it's funny I, how the pictures do that. I think I think there is a little bit of uh, disconnect here because here's here's what his profile says: seeking women with girly charm, beautiful bitch face, conceited or possibly arrogant. So this is about the woman he's looking for. I'm not intelligent. I'm not fun, and I'm certainly not any good in bed. <laughs> it comes across sincere now. I, I, with, yeah, with yeah. The I, I think there's a little bit of incongruence there. With I mean, with this photo, it goes a little bit. No, I don't like, like that photo. With, he looks this like photo, sad. That photo works. With this photo, you think that photo works? He, that photo works. It looks like he might not be intelligent or fun or good in bed. But that's you, what I mean. You have to be careful with that, right? Yeah. If you are yeah. being kind of sarcastic about it, I used to have a buddy that had a, a, a t-shirt that said, I shit my pants, but it's okay. <laughs> and that was cool when we went out and like, you know, he did work. But a couple times if he was like a wallflower, he just looked like a guy that shit his pants. Yeah. Or if he actually shit his pants, that would be even worse. 
Yeah. <laughs> he should, like, he he should have his mask. And then he's like, okay. good thing I'm wearing this shirt. Yeah. I owned it. Right? So, I mean, I agree with you. On the first photo with that thing, it looks like, okay, cool. I'm going to see something that shows me otherwise because he's obviously being sarcastic. Mm. But um, throughout his other photos, it doesn't look like he has much. There, there's nothing that would interest me. Yeah. Right? So he has, okay, cool. He has friends. That looks good. He's a That's good looking smart. dude and he's six foot one, so he's going to get a decent number if of was, matches on Tinder. Right, but he could do a lot better. And, yeah. and the, the other thing, that too, is like, how do you match with the kind of woman that you want, right? What Because the, the problem with Tinder is nobody knows oh, anything yeah. about you on Tinder. That, that's a great question. And if you That's totally right. ride on your looks... If my Commodore 64 would have called in on time, we would have, we would have got that. But you have, to, you have to kind of gear yourself to the demographic you want, right? Yeah. So that was one of the things that, um, you know, are you... A lot of guys go, well, I get this nice... I got this nice guy vibe, and then they get these nicer kind of maybe a bit nerdy girls. Well, dude, that's because you're 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 gearing right towards them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you're, I, I don't know, like if you want, let's say, active girls, stuff like that. Well, you need to show something that you're active. Maybe that rock climbing photo, stuff like that. It, well, if you, that know what, makes sense. you know what works really well is also talking about the frustrations that um, women in your demographic are going to have. Right? right. So I I got a lot of luck from writing, message me if you have trouble meeting men who are smarter than you. And that got me a lot of attention from women who are, who are pretty smart, but they've got, a, they've got a little bit of personality, and they wind up dating dudes who, they wind up dating jocks or something like that. And, uh, and they would actually rather date guys like me. Like basically, hot girls who date jocks because they're confident, but they'd rather date a smart dude. Right. Come, and come, and, come and, meet and me, and that's something right? And that, that worked awesome. To and even it, it, you know, I, there's not one thing that works for all. You have to find what's congruent with yourself, with your personality. Exactly, exactly. Um, man, I'm I'm really excited about this book launch. And so the deal is, we're we're, we're launching this book matches in. Um, it's going to be launched in a week. Uh, so we're just kind of getting prepped for it. You can get pre-orders right now if you're interested at www.thetinderbook.com. It's Rob Calabrese's book, Matches. Uh, and we're going to go, I want, Rob, you're going to answer the question of how do you move from the conversation to the meetup, right? That's the next thing? Yeah, uh, I mean... Uh, you explain, you go over it in the book, right? Yep. What it goes over the, the book, as for, in the book. So why do guys uh, have this problem? Why do guys have a problem? Why, why are women messaging guys all the time on Tinder and they're not meeting up? What's going on? By the book. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what I'll tell you why they're either waiting too long to pull triggers or they're pulling the trigger too fast okay right so there is a process both like kind of physically you kind of want to get off of tinder mm -hmm. um, you want to start moving and start painting more of a picture of yourself you can do that through you know, social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. So you want to get um, her onto those different media platforms, right? Right. You want her to see your Facebook profile, it's especially if, especially if I cannot. It doesn't seem like we can go out in the next few days, right. right? Like maybe it's on a Monday, so now it's already a stretch to try making plans for the weekend. Yeah, if that's yeah. when she's available. I mean, is it is it wrong to ask for go for a meetup like really quickly? What's the... Like, it depends on the situation. Okay. Right? It, I mean, you know, if you're kind of in a major city, a lot of times, you know, there, there are times you can get almost an immediate um, meetup, maybe for a quick coffee, things like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely at airports is great. Um, airports? Yeah. Just change your radius to a mile. <laughs> Seriously, you meet girls, you just hang out in an airport and you set your radius to one mile and you just make go on dates with women in airports? Instant dates. Is that how, have you gotten in the mile high club using that? <laughs> yeah, and I've been in the mile low club, club too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't. There's, 
<laughs> Submarine. Change your, your <laughs> getting getting what are people doing at the airport if you travel? Yeah, the burning time. If you travel, and uh, you know, we can get into this. This is a whole other thing. But if you travel, you should be really doing work on Tinder. Yeah. I mean, that was one thing I loved. I used to, when I was traveling all the time, teaching teaching these classes, you know, teaching boot camps all around the world, I would, yeah. um, I'd arrive in a new city, and just, just to check things out, I would just compare a city, and i just, like, flip through the first 20 girls I saw on Tinder, and Berlin was out, was spectacular, and right. Lon- London was awful. <laughs> that was surprising. Yeah, London usually is. Uh, yeah. and, and, and then Las Vegas was, had a lot of prostitutes. And invest in the pro version. Oh yeah, right. Because yeah, like I I, I went to Ireland over okay. the summer, right. So all I did was change because on the pro version, the, the biggest the biggest like draw to the pro version for me was I can change my location. Ah, so I'm already nice. tindering. So as soon yes. as I got to Ireland, I already had three dates lined up for the first couple of dates. That's awesome. Right now, so, is that in the book? Uh, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's actually the travel thing. I think I did throw that in as a tip, but that's, nice, we're going nice. to, we're going to, but that's the kind of stuff that you put in there. That, the block Here's the stuff. thing that I get from you, Rob, you have put more thought into how to, how to meet I'm women when on Tinder than point. anybody I've ever, as soon as you're talking, like this guy brought on some, some other site and he was getting advice and I was so <laughs> like, Oh shit, there's people, there's guys like that are in their mom's basement and just putting out like Tinder products and they're gearing everyone wrong. They're just fucking, they're saying that like the, the worst. So now you, you're just breeding more assholes, which is <laughs> fine for guys like us. Like, cause, because I mean, I'm killing. Yeah. You know, as soon as I get a match, like they're like, Oh shit, what is this? This is something different. Yeah. Cause these guys, right? your average guy has, has zero Tinder game. Your average yeah. guy is doing terrible. And all those guys just make, I mean, they, they make it a little bit harder for you because Women are immediately kind of dismissive, and right. they're tired of the whole thing. All right. And 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 I've been on when I when I first decided to do this. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I've kind of bled for this damn book. Yeah, you know, there was girls. Oh. I was like, oh, was all right, books. I'll meet up just to go through the process and and fun, and I, I turned into like an interview. So like like what usually happens on Tinder? What a guy said. So and they were com- doing telling me all the complaints. And like how it's just exhausting. So as soon as, as long as you do it two percent better than the majority of the guys, your your dates are gonna jump through the roof. Yeah, Rob, you spent like four years writing this book, didn't you? You basically. Rob, are you kidding me? Yeah. This, I know. I mean, I I know exactly what you go, what you went through just because you know when I was writing my book too on online dating, you know, four or five years ago. This is called the Gentleman's forever, Guide to Online Dating. Which, uh, when you pre order the book, actually comes free with it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you actually get my book as well when you when you order Rob's book. So Woo! yeah. So Woo! so just so everybody knows, um, because you're on this live stream, because uh, most of the people on this live stream are Love Systems fans and they came here through the mailing list. I'm letting you guys, everybody know that we are taking pre-orders for Rob's book, Matches the Tinder Book for Men. It is the best Tinder book ever written. I have, as part of the market research for this thing, I went out and I read every single Tinder book that you can find on Amazon. And basically, they're all garbage. Oh, shit. This is really, really, really good. And as you can see, Rob has put way more thought into, uh, how, into how Tinder works than anybody you have ever met. And, uh, and you right now, until February 21st, you can get, you, if you go to thetinderbook.com, you can get Matches and Derek's book, The Gentleman's Guide to Online Dating, plus an interview on online game that was uh, Derek and, and me, I think, um, plus a um, How to Be an Attractive Man uh, audio series interview. So this is 100 bucks worth of bonuses with Matches um, on the website, www.thetinderbook.com, and that is only available until the 21st, then we're taking it down, and then we're going to be publishing. That's the pre-sale version. Then we're going to be publishing the uh, the proper final version. So if you get the pre-sale, you're going to get you're going to get the book immediately. You're going to get a book today. You're also going to get the final draft of the book when it when it comes out in uh, two weeks. And you're going to get all these bonuses. And uh, it's really really a great deal. It's only twenty seven dollars, twenty seven bucks for the book, and uh, absolutely worth it because it is coming with a hundred dollars worth of bonuses. Plus, there's a Facebook group. Rob, tell me about the Facebook group that you're making. Uh, we're just creating a, a Facebook uh, group just to share things that work, things that haven't, frustrations, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's just a, it's going to be a private secret group for guys who are um, 
if, who are interested in this stuff and interested in like sharing techniques and sharing your sharing your Tinder profile with other guys who are who are also engaged in uh, in figuring this thing out. I can't wait to throw up some of my uh, my great messages that I love sending. To oh yeah, on Tinder. You get all all the best of mine. Yeah. <laughs> you you because you've been you, you saved a whole bunch of this stuff, Rob, didn't you? My Tinder conversation. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, dude. I've read some of them. They're hilarious. Oh, yeah, what was the? I wrote I wrote the foreword for Rob's book. One of the things I mentioned I mentioned it is Rob is one of only a few guys in the entire world that I've met that can literally make me fall down crying laughing uh, whenever I talk to him. He's one of the funniest guys I know. So seeing some of his messages that he sends to these girls, man, that was the that was worth the entrance price alone if I had to buy this book just because the amount of laughs you get out of it. But yeah, there's some great stuff in there. Okay. Thanks, dude. I got yeah. another. I got another Tinder I'll profile to break down. After this call. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'll let's go that. to the. Um, all right. So we're gonna answer the question. How do you get more? Um, how do you go from the conversation to the date? All right. This is gonna be the next question. But I'm gonna. I, we're gonna break down one more profile first. All right. So let's talk about this. Um, so we got Jay. We got another Jay here. All right. Okay. We got this fella. Yeah, I don't like that photo. It's like forever alone. Hold on, let's see. Come on, Commodore 60. I gotta type in my right, commands. Well, it's moving in and out. Put, All right. in, put in the cassette tape. Yeah. Uh, open up C, Tinder. C colon my... slash <laughs> Tinder profile dot JPEG. That's how. You, that's what you do, Rob. Gotcha. Now, I, all right. So, Nobody even gets these jokes. Yeah, I got this guy. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. So all right, we got this one here. Easy. I like the quality. Yeah, quality's good. So, on the photos, think of it. There's three things you have to watch out for. The quality of the photo, yeah. As far as like what you look like, even even something like this is a this is a this is a really good photo. The content mm -hmm. and the subtext. Okay. Quality, right. content, subtext. Good. Right. So here I see a dude sitting by himself, looking down. I, I'm not a fan of looking down. It kind of kind of implies uh, like an introvert, maybe shy, timid. Especially if. If you're like, if you're jacked and your first photo is you like wrestling a bear, and then your second photo is you like, you know, reading a book and kind of looking down and being thoughtful, that works. But not your first photo. Yep. <laughs> um, but I mean, again, I do like that he's dressed up. The second one I'm looking at is. All right, let's uh, let's go to the next oh, uh, profile. Skipping pick. through. Yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry, Chad. All right. So we got this one. Uh, the, is it the one you're looking at, the skiing one? Yep. Okay. I mean, that's, that's cool. I probably wouldn't make that my, sorry, my second photo. I'd probably throw that in the back just to let them know that, uh, you know, he's active. Mm-hmm. And, and, um, and depending on where you are, I think skiing could be, because like where I'm from in Canada, like everybody's got a picture of them skiing. But I think this fellow lives in, uh, like, he lives in a place where obviously to ski, you got to get in a plane and go yeah. a pretty long distance and skiing, stuff like that. Skiing, skiing, so like that. The picture of you walking. Yeah. Everyone does it. Right. <laughs> it's how, this is how we travel. Yeah, you, well, sometimes you have to ski to get to work. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, if he's in, like, you know... Miami or something, in, maybe it's... Yeah, if he lives in Miami and yeah. he goes skiing, that looks cool. If he's in, like, Utah, it's like, all right, like, dude. Yeah. I got you. This, the next one... All right, we got a picture of him with two women. Yeah. They look. I, I don't like that. I can't see, but they look like they might be a bit older than him. They're definitely they taller than relatives, him too. But I'll tell you what. I don't know, and hopefully he's on this. Oh no, they yeah. look. Um, but especially if you're on the shorter side. Yeah. Don't include photos with people, especially women, taller than you. Yeah. That it makes sense. you look really short. Yeah, they could, uh, they could like, be six and a half feet tall for all we know, right? But yeah. I, I, mean, he, I don't think this is. A, I don't think this is. But I mean, then you got to prop them out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, I, I think I think you know. Yeah, you want to do you want to do shots of men where you you want to do shots where you look tall, even if right, it's, right. It, you know even if you're not tall. Just so stop hanging out with all your friends that are taller than you. Yeah. Just you only hang out. With... It's not like I, I don't want to say hey you know I'm this NBA basketball star, but uh, you don't want to lie, but you don't really want to. Uh, Give, give, just just leave it out. What about if right. you have like, what about taking like pictures of children that are and dressing them like adults? I do that all the time. And then standing yes. around right. like, right. is that? You know what I'm saying? 
I do that all the time. Uh, <laughs> this guy, it, it screams like nice. How about this? How about this? I like this one. This is definitely good. Which one? Let me see. I would I would lead with this one, or at least put it as your second picture. Which one? Though he's got a gun, looks like a Nintendo zapper. But yeah, I like that. <laughs> I think it's that's a, my favorite of them all. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a gun uh, at a at a shooting range where guns are. Your guns have to be no, painted just, in special colors. He's really, like he's a really aggressive duck hunt player. Yeah, and he sets up his whole room. <laughs> got to put, got to put the netting up for the yeah. game of duck hunt. This guy's for real. He, he sits in a in a box. <laughs> this is duck hunt. With his gun hunt. Oh, guys, you no, guys I think that's a great. And, and you know what? You know what's you good about this one? He looks in shape. He's got good shoulders, right? This guy's got good shoulders. That's coming out. Compare that photo to the one with, of, of him with the two women, where he looks, uh, where he looks very small, and very tiny. I think you know you get a lot more masculine energy out of this, exactly. out of this photo. And that's what he needs. He needs yeah. a, a bit more masculinity. He needs a bit more edge. Yeah, you got to go that. And this is exactly the. Let's look at the. Well, when, when you're ready, we'll go. And this is the, the thing. If you start too. out, if you start out with a bad boy kind of vibe, you can always I soften would, it up. I, w I would err on that side. Yeah. Than no. the other. Bad boy with a heart of gold. Like start with a, you know, start lead with the bad boy stuff. Put the put the nice guy stuff later. Um, and then we got one last photo here. We got him with a, with the crowd of people. Looks it's pretty a good. Good photo of him. I like that he's dressed up. It's yep. a little too busy. Maybe like. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. You can. You, the problem is you can't tell which person. I mean, we blurred the faces so you can tell which one's him. But otherwise, right. uh, I mean, this is the problem with these big group shots. Is people are like, oh, that's a good photo. Wait, which one's the person that I'm supposed to be? If they got to take, take more than a second, it's... First it's, rule of Tinder, great photo. if yep. there are two women in a photograph, in a Tinder photograph, the one you matched with is the ugly one. True? Nine times out of ten. Nine? Nine times. Only nine times out of ten? I mean, wait, a lot of times, uh, that's, it pisses me off. So <laughs> when there's like, I can't it's figure like, out who it oh, is. Oh, yeah, check this girl that out. That tells me she's hiding something, right? Yeah. So I mean, here, yeah. Again, and it, and again, a lot of this, there is no like. We can definitely give you our our opinions, and I will give you my kind of like first impression. But it's going. It's it's got to be geared towards the demographic he's going for. So if he's thirty two, this would be a good photo. That's for a girl in her mid thirties. That's looking. He looks like you know he doesn't have an issue with commitment. Yeah. But then he almost looks like he's like you know he, he wants to get married on match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this whole profile to me anyway would seems to me like it's perfectly catered and probably does okay with you know maybe women whose traditional Asian parents are telling her to meet a nice Asian guy who right. uh, you know to get married to and maybe they see this guy and he's like oh he looks like a nice guy always oh, got you know one of the gun there he's a little bit interesting. Maybe that appeals right. to them. But everyone else, I think, is just going to pass him by just because he's... Yeah. My mom might date him. There you go. There you go. A little bit of, yeah. Uh, but yeah, cultivating a little bit of edge. Yep, with my mother. All right. <laughs> Rob will hook you up with his mother. That's what we're all about here at Love Systems. Yeah. We want to hook you up do. so bad. Mm -hmm. You can, you can date Rob's mother. <laughs> all right. Uh, annoying. Do you, <laughs> do you want to go over the bio or not? The bio... Uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even read it. Well, I think we should. I, think, I want to go over. I want to answer the question. How do you go from that? How do you go from the conversation to the meetup? Let's answer that final question because that's a big thing that a lot of guys have been waiting for. A lot of guys have been asking about. And I know you go over it in a lot of detail in the book. But right. uh, let's share. Let's share a little bit. Um, I'll give uh, you kind of a fifty thousand foot view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, so obviously, it's going to start with the match. So. The first thing you have to work on, obviously, is getting more matches. Mm -hmm. Once you start getting matches, you have to, um, and, I, and, a, and a side note too, there's there's a strategy to actually even the way you, the way and when you swipe. The way you swipe, yeah, because you talk about it in the book, you're like, there's an algorithm that either is going to match you with I putting you in front of the women who are, who are interested in you, or... Are, or it's going to put you in the bottom of the pile with the bots or something like that. Is that basically right. how it goes? Right. Yeah. Right. Because most guys like, and, and this is how I started off, is just you just swipe right. Yeah. So that's not the way to do it, is it? And no, it actually fucks you up because yeah. it it lowers your Tinder score. Okay. So Tinder picks that up and goes, wait a minute, 
you know, this guy isn't taking it serious. Yeah. So, um, but that's a whole different subject. So, uh, once you get your bio and you get in the match, the first message really should just entice a response. Mm -hmm. Right? So, we want to get her in the habit of responding. <coughs> and you share some examples of that too. You've got some crazy stuff that you use to get responses. Right. I'm, right. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like. And um, so, <laughs> some after stuff that, pretty, you want hilarious. to spark attraction. You okay. want to get her attracted. You, you want to get her to invest and kind of follow your lead, right? Mm -hmm. So, and you're going to do that through building banter. Okay. Right? So, you, you know, get, we get into, we can get more into that. Like in the book, it gets deeper into that stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, after that, I want to kind of get her off of Tinder. Like I said, if, mm -hmm. if I can't do You're getting it, her to, to add you on Facebook or, or phone call Facebook, or something like that. Get her yeah. phone number. And, and, and the biggest reason is she is messaging other guys. Other guys are messaging her. She's swiping. You want to get her off of Tinder so that she starts looking at you as a, as a real person. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's where a surgeon guy can um, kind of tell her the other things he does, too. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because so, this is the big thing. It's so hard in the conversation and the chat to like share all this stuff about yourself. If you've got all kinds of stuff going on. It's like, so what are you up to this weekend? Oh, well, I'm going skiing right. and I'm doing all kinds of awesome things. Uh, too bad you're doing your thing. Like, it's, it's, it's really, there's no cool way to put that into a conversation. You've got cool right. stuff going on in your life, basically. But if you if you're at if you're if you're adding her on social media, you're getting her on your Facebook and stuff like that. All of a sudden, that stuff just is handled. Right. People know right. that you go. And, you go and skiing what's, what's and you great know, about this, if you if you got your social media like kind of cleaned up and, and optimized, that shows a cool lifestyle. Because a lot of times, I'm sure if they'll say, "Hey, are you, I gotta go. I'm, I'm walking into work. Are you on Facebook?" Mm -hmm. So now they come into your Facebook, and, and Facebook paints an even even. Uh, it, it paints more of a picture of who you are, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Who is this guy? Does he just have a bunch of selfies in, in bathrooms? Does he is, has he been to cool places? So you want to start doing that. What kind of posts does he do? Like, are they are they kind of negative? Are they like you know kind of hippie? Are they what what, what who is this guy? Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> so you want to start. You want to move them off of Tinder. Each time you interact, you got to rebuild. Some attraction. You got to rebuild her investment. You got to get her emotionally spun. So, what are the emotions that a woman needs to be feeling to want to meet up with you? Like, what are the emotions you got to create in her? Obviously, attraction. Yeah. Um, she has to be uh, like intrigued. Okay. Um, there has to be a level of trust or comfort. I, I think that's a big thing. That that it's trust huge. and comfort. Because people, women feel weird meeting up with guys. So on Tinder, yeah, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I, when I first started doing using Tinder, I would like text with women a few times, and I'd be like, "Hey, you want to meet up?" And they'd be like, "Yeah, cool." And I was like, "You're okay with meeting me?" Because just because I sent you like eight messages on like a dodgy app, and and but now it's like that was really weird back then. Now it's like totally normal, totally normal. Now it's a lot more normal. But there's so, there's still this trust that needs to be there. Even like I remember when it first came out, I was like, "Hey, let's just tell her. Let's just tell everyone, anyone who asks, that we met at the mall." <laughs> nah, right? Now it's like, "Fuck it, I'm on a Tinder date." There we go. <laughs> like, there's not that stigma attached to it like it, it, it used to be with whatever. And is Tinder a good, whatever it was? Is Tinder a good opportunity for guys? <clears throat> Say that again. Is Tinder actually a good opportunity for guys? There's a waste of time. Is it, it's unbelievable. It's good. I look, I mean, I remember when I visited New Jersey and saw my cousin. He was like, dude, you know, man, I haven't, I haven't been on a date in like six months. I haven't got legs. And I go, what? I said, you're not on uh, Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I'm on Tinder. But it's like, you know, and, and he was doing it completely wrong like all of us do. <laughs> and I mean, we just like spent like 20, 30 minutes like doing it. And then like in my area, he met, um, he met the girl that he winded up dating for a, over a year. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you yeah, finally I, got this dude, baby it's out. A, it's a huge opportunity. Five the years. The thing is, go ahead. The Tinder book for men. I just wanted to say that. That's all. Thetinderbook.formen.com. That's where you can find the pre-orders of this book. 
It's not being released to the general public until 20, until after the 21st, uh, until the beginning of March, basically. But until the 21st, you can get matches the Tinder Book for Men pre-order at thetinderbook.com. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to flog your book. Go ahead. Man. Listen. Plug it again. <laughs> Derek, tell me what. Uh, what are you reading in there? What's what's what chapter? Oh, are you there's on? a lot of great stuff in here. I mean, it <laughs> goes over the whole the whole kit and caboodle. Anything you could ask for. Actually, yeah. the good thing about it, I actually read through the book, and the cool thing about it was that, uh, you know, I, I I said this earlier. You know, I, I I wrote a book about online dating before, and I actually was was surprised how much the strategy changed. Um, you know, from from then to now, and uh, and the funny thing that interest that was interesting to me was stuff like. I was reading through my book too, which you know you get with this book, and I did update my book so it's not as dated as, as it was. But I remember there was a big part in there about Facebook, and uh, you know just describing certain aspects of Facebook in 2012 when I wrote the book just doesn't make any it's like sense anymore. Years. It's like, yeah, it's, it's it just like makes 20 like, years ago. What the fuck is this guy talking about? What are these these different elements of of how photos are arranged or whatever pieces of the website is using? But it, I mean that's and it's the same thing. Like I know when I was you know we we're talking earlier like. Rob had to rewrite this book essentially four or five this times. Thing broke my balls. Yeah. <laughs> Every time and that they would be like done, Tinder has an update. Chain, and that's why I went. Wait a minute. I, here, what I what I went for ultimately was just getting a blueprint of the actual structure, the infrastructure. Because I was, you know, okay, they do uh, the moments. All right, shit. Now I got to write a chapter on moments. Right. So now I'm <laughs> testing moments. And then as soon as I get it, as soon as I get it done, they change again. Yeah, exactly. And and you're so I mean, Facebook has evolved to this like crazy thing. You know, now I mean you you even need Facebook Facebook has to verify you as a person. So when when, when I first did it, I was like, okay, fuck it, just get start a a secondary Facebook page so you kind of because we still had that little bit of a stigma to it, right? But now and you can only use the photos that you put onto Facebook. Mm-hmm. So now it's evolved to where, like, you can put if 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 you want a photo on your Tinder, but you don't want it on your Facebook for any reason, you can do it, you know, and just share it, just have it private to you, and that kind of handled a lot of the a lot of the things. But yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, the thing was driving me absolute. There's so many contingencies to to online dating. So there's no like, there's no like. It's not black and white. Everything, every it's constantly evolving. It's constantly changing. Yeah. But if you follow those guidelines, like the the actual infrastructure of it, it'll it'll last. And and, and if you buy the book now in pre-sales, you're gonna get on the Facebook group, and that's where everybody's gonna when when the next changes come. Right. You're gonna share it on the Facebook group. You're gonna be have access, permanent access to the cutting edge latest technology. So uh, of this kind of stuff. So. Rob, how, how good are you for time, man? We're going right. way over. We're way yeah, over we should, an hour. We should wrap this up now, guys, because we yeah. got uh, yeah, we're we're way over time here, and I'm sure there's people watching that are probably wondering why we're going so long. If anybody um, has some questions, real quick, we might stick around and answer a couple of questions. But um, yeah, www.thetinderbook.com. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the comments. I, I need to have a sign here. Yes, Does anybody who got some questions in the comments here? Uh, Damascus says that dude is riding the bunny hill 540 tail grab or, or get the fuck get out get the fuck out uh, bunny hill I absolutely agree yeah Jay you gotta um, if you're riding the bunny hill go for the black diamonds that's what you gotta do hey you, you need to show me some show me some air that's uh, it Chuck you want the ladies yes you wrote a book about online dating before but are you a surgeon <laughs> Jay, <laughs> where's, sure. where's cream pie games you just wrote a you just wrote dude real, real I, He's I wrote a crappy book. book. This guy like, like it, heals people. Like, uh, they're Amish and they're in like Hershey, PA or something. What? They, uh, wherever the Amish are, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I saw him over the summer and uh, at, at like a family picnic, and the kid's like 14, and he's like this good-looking kid, and he's like six foot one already, right? So my other cousin goes, "Listen, you got to help him. He's scared to talk to girls." And I looked at him. I said, she, "I said, fuck this guy." All you gotta do is show up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, don't break my balls. I'm not gonna give you the secrets. <laughs> Listen, man. Whatever you do, whatever you do, don't give this book to tall guys. This is gonna no, it's fuck hard. it all up for the rest Listen, of us. Yeah, because all right. tall guys kind of, you know, rely on that that as well sometimes. So tall guys have no game. 
Uh, and they don't need it sometimes. But on Tinder, everybody I have contempt needs for tall men. A Wait, strategy. I just want to make a comment. This is a physical book, but the the book isn't actually a physical book. Uh, this is just a for display purposes only. Just you know, because this guy's asking. You're gonna for get you copies. guys. Yeah. So when you sign up for the presale, you're gonna get you're gonna get the um, the EPUB. You're gonna get the Mobi, which are the Kindle versions, basically yeah. the e-reader versions, and you're gonna get a PDF. Right now, you're gonna, you're gonna get a PDF immediately. And then the uh, the Kindle versions are going to come out within the next two weeks, um, and that's the pre-release thing. You're just getting the PDF right now, but you're getting a really awesome deal, basically. This copy's so getting, mine. You guys can't have it. Uh, yeah, and this is this is a signed collector's edition. Uh, nobody else is allowed to have that except for uh, Derek and I. Yeah, just so in case you guys um, are wondering. So Adam asks Tinder in other cities. The girls that I've spoken to with traveling say you're clearly just here for hookups because you're traveling. I find it hurts that I don't live there. Help. Fuck, dude, I got you. What's that? The whole the whole thing about because that that always happens. Mm-hmm. So you, I always tell them, yeah, I'm here for a couple weeks. I'm sure because I'm I'm thinking about moving here. <laughs> I'm thinking about moving here, so I'm checking. I'm doing some apartment shopping. So you just lie. So I mean, I don't <laughs> <lie>. <laughs> all right. There you go, guys. I don't in, uh, I don't endorse that. I used to I actually this is something that came up quite a bit. I remember when I was teaching online dating as well. And, yeah, there's two ways to go about it. One is to just sort of lie. I don't necessarily like lying. I think you bend the truth by saying something like, you know, I'm looking at possibly moving here. So I'm just looking what, what they got, which isn't really a lie. A little caveat of that. Yeah. I, don't want to, I, I am looking to move anywhere out of New Jersey. There you go. So, <laughs> so it's never a lie when Rob says it. Yeah. Uh, the other the other way to go about it is completely tell the truth and be totally open about what you're looking for. That's going to – there's a certain amount of girls that immediately are going to go, no – but there's a lot of other girls that are immediately going to go like, "No, nah, I'm really interested." Or you say, so. "Or you say, when don't you come into my city next?" All right, well, right. you can, you know, if we, if we, ha- if we enjoy one. Have you ever seen the movie? What's the Before Sunset? Some uh, cheesy movie. Biodome. Too. <laughs> Paulie Shore. Yeah. Um, Wait, what? Now you say. <laughs> you say. I you say. Well, when, when, when's the next time you're coming to Toronto? Talk about how, how awesome Toronto is. You should come. Uh, come visit me. I always just suggest that she can come crash at my place, and we can do, if I stay with her and, and we hook up, I will return the favor if she comes to my hometown. And so she gets the free, she gets free travel out of the whole arrangement. That works well. That works well. She wants, to, there is that feeling wanting to see the guy again, and not being like, yo, thank you, see you later. She's not looking for a relationship. She's just looking right. for, like, not a, like, bye yeah. Uh, kind of thing. A lot of girls so, don't care. I mean, yeah. I mean, all the all the instructors at Les Systems are the same way. So I'm preaching to the choir here. But we had we had girls we'd see in every major city when we were traveling around that were perfectly okay with that uh, with that setup. So right, yeah. Back when we were young, uh, like me. there was another question. Mm-hmm. If you want to go over the one guy, in. let's do one more question. Let's do one more question. Last question, guys. Uh, Joe says, hey, don't hate on Jersey. Go fuck yourself, Joe. Yeah, what the hell, Joe? Don't tell us what to do, man. What the, what's with this guy? What's this guy doing coming on our live feed and trying to tell us what to do, whether we can hate on Jersey or not? What was that, Rob? I thought we had Jersey blocked. Yeah, I seriously. I thought we going to do this thing if people from Jersey were calling it. It's nothing but degenerates and jabronis down there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't yeah, see more quite. Wait, hold on. the last question. I'll, I'll... Yeah, yeah, right. All right, Scott, I just finished reading your... Okay, that's not a question. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any more, any more, any more questions. I was kidding, J- Joe. I forgive you. It's okay. All right, we're still bros. So, guys, seriously, we read this book. I'm just gonna end with the pitch here. Not that you haven't heard it already, or but this book is really, really incredible. Rob spent a huge amount of time writing this thing. As you can see, he is one of the he has thought about Tinder way, way more than anybody else in the entire world. Every other Tinder book on the market sucks. This one is incredible. And if you order it right now, between now, today, this evening, and uh, February 21st, it is on pre-order. And that means you are going to get Derek's book, The Gentleman's Guide to Online Dating, with it for free. You are also going to get our online dating interview. That's an hour of uh, discussion in which we're more focused on like giving you exactly what to do uh, next. It's a one hour long interview. Um, 
uh, that's going to come with it. Then there's also another interview on being an attractive man, and that's just like the philosophy. It's a very philosophical interview about what women actually find attractive and how you can cultivate that. That'll help you with your online dating life. You get all three, you get those three bonuses, plus you get the Facebook group for $27 when you buy it at www.thetinderbook.com. Available now until the 21st. Don't wait too long because it's not going to. You're not going to get that deal after the 21st. It's still going to be available. You can buy the book whenever, but you're not going to get that deal. All right, guys. So uh, thank you very much, and thank you so much for coming to the Love Systems live stream. Please subscribe to our channel. Turn on notifications so you get told automatically next time we are doing a live stream. We're going to be doing this live stream every Monday at 8 p.m. Um, and uh, we're going to be answering your questions, we're going to be taking calls, we're going to be building a little scene going on here. It's really amazing to have seen all you guys show up. And uh, give, us some, give us some likes and share us around. Thanks a lot, guys. Rob? Thanks, guys. Rob, thanks for coming on the show, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. You were thanks, incredible. Guys. You're great. Buy the book so I can upgrade my Commodore 64. Exactly. Yes. Get, buy Rob a new computer. Commodore 128 is <laughs> coming up. <laughs> or or, or we get a plane ticket to Toronto so you can see what he looks like. You can buy a 46 in Toronto. You'd be perfect. Yes. yes. All right. All right, guys. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot, guys.